Hey, watch them and Danica represent for my two cents part class with two locks, the 876 treble. Father got me a beggar start test me. We got a empty. Feel like me a dead. Can't manage. I thank you, you bless me. Take me off for your strongest sort of this. And I your strongest sort of this. Poor for them, no more. Sing again, sing again. I want them again. So I tell you that the beast is roaming yeah. Protect your children Call like a raging storm is coming Lion Queen, yo, we want them again So I we tell you that the beast is roaming yeah. Protect your children Call like a raging storm is Yo, 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 listen up Blessed, welcome to another episode of the My Two Cents Pod Class I'm your host, Two Lacks, the 876 Rebel, and as usual, today's episode will be brought to you by Rebel 13 Collections, where creativity lives. We also do everything printing except fingerprinting. We also offer the finest and best in embroidery services in the island. Check us out at 876-8989-888. And also to get direct access to the updated merchandise. You can simply follow us at Rebel 13 Collections on Instagram. Also brought to you by Kaizen Oils. Some of their oils include Meadowgrass for itch, Rosie for beard and scalp hair growth, and Wildfire for natural lubrication. Each part of making Kaizen Oil products are done by hand. From planting to bottling, Kaizen underscore oils. Check them out on Instagram. Also brought to you by a mother's journey. This is the undiluted raw truth when you read the autobiography of Sharon Williams. This is one of the best book we up on the road right now. The title, self-explanatory. That book you dedicated especially to the single mother them, where they have to fight it alone. You don't want to be a single mother and miss this. This book will be available on all digital platforms, seen. But if you want to know directly where you can purchase the book now, Barnes & Noble, etc., check out the links in my YouTube description. And for those who want a signed copy of the book, links in description also. Seen? Who do not want to miss that book? Yeah. Still a reminder item, check out Curly Locks book, Planet Hurt, available on all digital platforms. Available in Jamaica at jamaicadeals.com Alright, so before I actually go in and show you, don't know me as a reminder item, subscribe if you're new to the channel. You know what I mean? Like, share the video them. All these things, tell a friend to tell a friend, support the merchandise. www.rebby13.net 876-898-9888 See and keep that support coming. I'm going to also remind the items that we have the anniversary episode coming up. I mean, God, if you don't know the giveaway, the phone card, the this, the that, the fun, you know what I mean? The give back situation scene. I'm going to also take the time out now for no say, I'm going to set up the Rebel 13 Foundation. Now, this is where I go increase my philanthropic efforts. So you see, I'm going to go now and pick up all the star and you see all the little boy or family or all these things where fall upon hard times and all these things, you don't know. We can't leave them thing here to anti Dan and them alone. Everybody who have the platform, if you do what they can do, if you give back. Now when I to the show, a couple of things I go up on the street, see me? And first thing I'm going to talk about is this. Big robbery at Portmore, again. As it relates to the Beryllium Security Company, see? This time, thieves made off with over 20 million dollars in a brazen daylight shootout. It's a normal scene, and the cars were discovered on the dike road over in a St. Catherine side. There. So, seeing all me, I said, Jamaica, where I get wicked, and a lot of people sit back and I watch that something here and feel like a some joke thing, like a some normal thing. But Jamaica, I look like it have. No, come on, come back in. You know. Bagwan from in the 70s, gunmen Lee Skinston. 
from West Kingston straight to East Kingston. Work for PMP and Labour right the B Kingston. 1980 there wasn't no peace Kingston. Mama ban her belly and say please Kingston the amount of blood where you're running on your street Kingston. Politics selection come deceive Kingston. And when them shoot Bob Marley Rasta grief Kingston. The city full of murderers and thief Kingston could not control by your soldiers nor police Kingston. So you hand it to Dodos and Zeke Kingston. I saw the valley matches lay and sign peace Kingston. Mad now nah, get no more body for free Kingston. Me and the keep said the dan them breach Kingston. Get rid of the dust of Zeke's Kingston. I saw this big incursion come reach Kingston. Spanish town, have you seen blasted disease Kingston? And mobby, you catch your symptoms when you see knees Kingston. Westmoreland farmer ton gunman enough food now reach Kingston. Clarendon say give thanks to the badness them achieve Kingston. Linstead full of your nephew and your knees Kingston. But any day I hear say Isis Lee Kingston, I just pack my bags. Everybody I'm about to mention in this today, believe it or not, they have a high respect for. But we can separate them achievements from them shortcomings because everybody a human, myself included. Seen? So we're gonna chat about this right now. Um Kabaka Pyramid, you don't know. The 2023 Grammy Award winner Make some comments as it relates to a song with Valley and Do See inside over Twitter catch a fire When the eye make them statement here And that's what we're talking about today So the song actually named Rasta See in, produced by Country Eye It's so, alright, that's so the war kick off now See in, Kabaka Pyramid say When we say We want to inspire the next generation this is not what we meant. Seeing Rasta joke thing in a Jamaica now, apparently. Alright. Seeing so country hype reply. It's simple grammy kid. No beef, no pasta is making references to some Rasta who believe in peace and unity. But the other parts of the song is clearly not for Rasta. Look how many things Mr. Rasta do. And on an attack and that. Respect your G. But this never have to post. Maybe I your PR post it still. Anyway, blessing. No beef, no pasta. And also somebody else went on to post. I want to say Valiant lost me with this one. See? But when I think of all the US rap pop lyrics that talk about Marley and Rasta without any public outcry from Jamaica, I step back for me. Valley is opening our eyes then kibaka pyramid went on to reply why would i outcry about a foreigner mentioning our thing you totally lost me here seeing should i expect them to have integrity and understand what rastafari is about maybe i shouldn't expect that from jamaicans either yeah so we get the biggest fight all right that's up can totally agree because me touch a point here already and a lot of them try to make me look like me are idiot you know when everybody that's a footer basically allow Nicki Minaj to do a shadow and when it come to like Spice and the rest of our dance all artists them or him harsh pan them and him this and him that we do not have the same culture foreign people have for them foreign culture already have for them culture that so what we expect from them if we live like them grew up in our culture alright so the person reply again I assume says a female why? Well, because foreigners aren't merely mentioning our thing. They are reducing Rastafari to ganja smoke and then selling it across the globe. And back I had, from Post Malone to Chris Brown, for me, Valiant's pushing Jamaica to ask, where are we and what does it mean to be Jamaican? No, I don't really think that was Valiant's intent. Valiant just get a good idea and him do a bad song. That's it. You have to understand. If Valiant maybe was a Rasta man, you could have, you could have seen him come from a standpoint like that. But Valiant just do a song. Artists not do song again based upon nothing, bro. Artists are do song and I say them dance. They might say them do all type of fuck. As long as they get a hit song, them just do the song. Artists not really go off and nothing again as it relates to cultural acceptance. Them just do the song. So I mean, I feel like Valiant do a song that comes. Look, 
We have met Jamaica open them eye now and ask themselves that's when we can see so we are lose the culture. Not no go so. Now Kabaka would go on to reply and say, LOL, we we'll find validation for anything by hype and current. Typical Jamaican mentality. Make gimmicks and mockery into something deep and psychological. LOL. If that's all Post Malone and Chris Brown know about Rasta, what is my crying out going to accomplish? I totally agree with him. For them culture, different. I don't like them to try to tell us that they go convert to Rastafari. Right now it go up to we Jamaicans to show them what is Rastafari. And I convert them, I convert. They are make Rasta like everybody else. I totally agree with Pyramid, right? So, them cannot take seriously what they don't know or what they don't want to get involved in it directly. Pyramid go into the comment section and he made this comment. When a man with actual talent have to sing about dance and science to get anybody's attention, that tell you more about society than the artist himself. You don't need to check on the mental health. The DJ them may get him conscious song them. You play them. I never hear about him. Why is that? And my fault, I never hear about him. Look how much conscious artists are try a thing and now get heard. See? And the one artist will stay conscious right through and never run down commercial song. You know what this you now. I love on the same way. And me I go and shell down them show ya on tour. The man beat them in the last, the man make sure I can know say watch ya. I'll not chat a comment section in here. A tour me upon. But watch what I'm gonna do with that show ya today now. Fear and square it name. Here's where Kabaka go wrong. You see? The worst person where people feel like them for correct is somebody who seems like a hypocrite. And Kabaka and the rest of man them. But in a fit them thing, I've been looking like some big hypocrites lately. You see? I'm going to explain why. Now, if your house dirty, I hope you dare not point out any fault with the next man house. And at that, I see the rest of them I do. In a the game right now. Matter of fact, that's what it is. A game. Nobody not take Rasta serious again. Now, my thing is not to attack no man character. My thing is not to attack no man talent. My thing is not to attack no man hustle. But I am attacking from day one till now at them hypocrisy. Hypocrites are one of the worst scum on earth. You know? Somebody will say or do something and then them are contrary to where them supposedly believe in it. So Cardinal Fire said, when him bida go chat about the video, what can do with this prat them? See? So Kabaka reply again. So a girl a drink cum smoothie is singing about Rasta. Alright then. And I am the selective one. Once you try Rastafari, you accept being in the minority and discriminated against in a colonial, hypocritical Jamaica. And I'm not new. We are get the fight for decades. Go and make the thing, I saw it go. Also, make me know is when coffee did say she a Rasta. So basically, he must say, even if I never talk about coffee, coffee never tell nobody say she a Rasta. So basically, watch this now. You go totally wrong right there, so. Because where you attack Valiant here so far? It's because Valiant is making a mockery of Rastafari. And if Kaffee them are wear the locks, and me and you know whether she says she a Rasta or not, she come out as a Rasta. So yes, just like how Valiant say no beef, no pasta, and he wear him whole pan long here, and him hear them fake, and him in a video, and him do him thing. Matter of fact, me can accept Valiant doing a music video like that. More than coffee. Because automatically when the crowd watch that, the crowd knows that Valiant is not serious and he's not trying to be our same arrestor or nothing. For real, because guess what? You don't see no locks on him. Obviously, there are some tourist locks them there or something and him just doing music with your bass on Concept. Where's coffee's concept? Matter of fact, Valiant even more in a clear that uno. Because Valiant say, man, I live like Rasta. No beef, no pasta. Like Rasta, root word. That mean him admit right away, say him no ras, none at all. But when uno dress up in a no red, green and gold, and no marina, and no clocks, and no diamond sacks, and the whole of the thing them, 
and look like Rasta. Everybody thinks it on a Rasta. How different are you from a regular scammer? If you look like Rasta, you're not live like, not even at least valiant, I live like Rasta. But no found no uncle look like Rasta. So who better than who right yourself? So you see the hypocrisy, brother? Now me telling you this no means I have nothing personal against you. It's just an open discussion. I can't call you no phone and get it. I don't know that. So I could say, what caused the offense? Come smoothie. See? So we're going to match the offense there. Come smoothie. Nasty. Very nasty. Just to think about that. Six stomach. See? But I can't say it valiant. Based on the fact that valiant is not a raster and him not have no cultural obligations when you feel like him have a fulfill. See? I can see it. Valiant. But when coffee them dress like Rasta. Probably beef, probably pasta. To me see it right now. See? And in our video, full of fish. One straight person never in another video. The straightest thing in another video are the wall them where them lean upon. And probably all them wall they lean. I may never hear a word from the Rasta community. The man them was so rust when them feel like. So you realize how much you can look like a hypocrite now, brother. Nobody now about no fire because comment section I go tell them said I'm an idiot. Because the whole of the kiss ass rasta them. Don't out the fire a long time. So anybody at all will open them out about any kind of fire. People like me, people like Futa, any kind of fire. And you reminding these pagans say, yo, listen, this is not our lifestyle. Get back to yourself. And listen, make no mistake. What we are talking about yesterday today is hypocrisy. It not talk about me hate the artist there. Me not like that one there. No, sir. Me love and respect every artist. Coffee is still one of the baddest things musically. Whatever I want to say our sex life is, now I have nothing to do with this. But a hypocrisy, brother. Because you can't on the one side and you decide say, you can't accept a fake dread. Which is the things them based on your valiant I say. And some man are Mac Rastafari, but the people that you defend are Mac Rasta every day. Because if she never tell nobody say she a Rasta and she look like one, she a fool people. Into buying a product. Into thinking that she's a part of a movement that she's not. You get it? So what you call that? A hypocrisy. The same way you type in your statement while ago. Hypocritical Jamaica. That's been very hypocritical of you, Kabaka. Some of the things that you say make all heap of sense in a brother. They make all heap of sense, but guess what? The selective outrage. And that are the problem. You know what Chris Rock did? And that are the biggest fucking problem with the world now. Selective outrage. When you're supposed to outrage, you don't say nothing. As long as you have benefit in a, any kind of way from that way you're supposed to have an outrage for, you don't have no outrage. So, somebody named Perky replied to Kabaka and said, Valiant get the Rasta artist them cross, which is expected. Some saying them might take Rasta thing for joke thing in a Jamaica nowadays. But truth be told, Rasta artists them nowadays lose their militancy. So Kabaka replied by saying, You are a real disappointment, brother. You are dash around words like militancy and commercial with no sense of reality. I must burn out everything I see publicly and then do have a career to feed my people them. What militant mean? Me fear shoot people and not do music videos or win Grammys? The man actually asked the question. So basically, guess what? A lot at the immoral shit where Rasta now accept them can accept it as long as they are getting paid for it now if you can decide your mind so you can't burn certain people because you want to feed your family why Valiant can't put on some fake locks if him get a great concept and feel like it can feed him family the circumstances they back in a Malcolm X them time was dead you think they never know that you think Martin Luther them never know say every stage where him step on can be the last stage where him step on in the night yeah? You think them couldn't shut up 
and take the little pittance where the marines and feed them picnic and just go look at normal job and a business. But if some of our ancestors them will come before we never decide to sacrifice them literal life for where them believe in her, where you would have done our type? Pantor? Hmm? Righteousness and something you put on like a pants. Or the one that fit you today in a light, the one that too tight. And that's how it work. When you're there on a mission, bro, it comes with all of the uncomfortable scenario. Them. You can't stand up to the then tomorrow, you bow down. That doesn't make no sense. You confuse yourself and people. When you think Bob Marley never know, so the system here to me. Fuck. But Bob Marley preach when I preach regardless. And you see, same money where you don't have bought for and talk about you don't want to feed you no picnic them. Bob never bought for a dollar. And he dead from 1981. And richer than every single Rasta artist will ever exist. Somebody explain why that is. You see, the authenticity of Bob Marley. That is why Bob Marley was able for it from in the 70s. Till him dead. And when him dead, him get even richer. Somebody explain that. You see, there's nothing that has more value than authenticity, brother. If times is still like back in the days where as you believe in your own self and you try to step forward and show say your race. Just simply trying to show say your race is a human being was a terrible fight, you know. As you open your mouth, you get a gunshot, you know. If times were like that, no. When I totally understand. Because guess what? No man don't know where to be on the grave. So me don't have to understand that. By nature of being human and having any kind of empathy, you don't have to understand why a man would have just easy become the one and kill him or him family. You have to understand that by default. But me can't understand why. Uno, we're busting our time at the first one or two hits song where you get. A crazy money where you make. Where if the business too corrupted, you just invest in something else and load the business. So I now go understand why you know about. I always ask when I show you. Tell me in the comment section how much money is enough money. Some of them artists are where I see them wealthy. You wouldn't believe the amount of property, the amount of things where them have. How much passive income. Some of them artists you have, you wouldn't believe it. And guess what? When you meet artists there, eh, you don't think you never make a dollar yet. The first two weeks I'm gonna get when I set for life. And 10 years we pass out on a career of making the same amount of money. I'm gonna steal about for money. I put a fire upon even the man that actually used to burn the fire. You know why them boy I can't come get the compromise rasta. Because the original fire burner them giant room long time. So when the Romans look, which is them Roman Rasta away in our music now. When them look and see the real fire burner them quiet, what do you think them do? Them feel like they can express them corruption because they now nah get the fire. Now talk to them about something today. And I right across the board this walk. People feel like say, there should be no consequence. Every pussy will want to live them dirty lifestyle. A consequence of them biggest problem. And if fire we are burning up, and the facts say I remind them say, there should be consequences for certain actions. And that are them problem. The devil needs consequences to be removed from society. Without a consequence, a free for all. And at that, when I see I go on now. Every man I pray, I want to feed my family, feed my family. And not really a family I want to feed, you know. I choose, you choose between money and the Almighty. It you know, have nothing to do with feeding your family. Because as what I say, majority of them have millions. The worst artist boy I make millions, you know. So can you imagine the solid artists that are actually bad, like Kabaka Pyramid then? Because I now tell a lie. Them artists, yo, some of the baddest artists are them youth yeah. Between Chronix to Kabaka to Jesse Royal, the whole of them now tell no like the man them bad, you fuck. But nobody now question them artistry. What people question is your liberty. You say a Rasta, people expect you to live like Rasta. Rasta is known as one thing. Bob Marley, them Peter Tash, them. If you are coming to Rasta, you are going to move. 
contrary to that, you are no Rasta. I saw the road I got seat, and I mean even that. So while you may be a great artist, you're not a good Rasta. Then see the next excuse of the majority of them are for corruption. Oh, you over there saw me over there saw as long as a man now nah, look me. I agree with that to some extent. See? But you have to remember, so the Almighty also said, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the council of the ungodly. You know why? God knows we are adaptive creatures as human beings. And if we steer on corruption, that corruption never influence. Holy power. Because a lot of things where you adapt in your life, you don't even realize. So you never make a conscious decision for accepting it. You just start doing it. You don't realize so you start doing it. Because we take up majority of the things that we add to our life subliminally. So if you're around wicked people, you start adapt them ways. Subliminally. Why you think say 10 years ago, 20 years ago, certain things couldn't go on, but it can go on now? Because guess what? With amongst too much wicked people as it relates to the internet. But if you get rid of them completely from around you, because when you're around them type of people, eh, them actions are everything chip away. Little, 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 day by day, night by night at your morality and you find yourself and do everything what the pig can do and you don't even know how you got there so yes while you're not too business with a man's sex life and this and that if some people immoral and they make them life known to you plain and straight remember me not have nothing against you know your past you ask me for direction yeah man around this up but that no means say me and your friend are your clique so but you know where you try to save by not being brave enough to tell Kaffi them say them are living Tell Leela Aiki them say them are living Matter of fact, me, we are tell Kaffi them say them are living Me, we are tell Leela them say them are living Love them more than you. We are par with them and hug up them dirty ways. You never know that. A real big brother would have tell them the things. But you know what I'm most people now? Every, we live in a time when everybody have a insatiable need to be liked, bro. Social conditioning real and it hold enough of them so called Rasta. Yeah. If you don't know the history, you don't hear about them long line there. We used to go down Hope Road with people just line up and wait for money from Bob Marley. Hmm? Yeah, man, at the same money we don't have bow for now. Bob them used to give it. Sizzler them give it. Caperton them give it. Luciano them give it. On a daily basis, give it all away. Hmm? And the more them give, and the more them get. That's so how the Almighty set it up. But majority of the man said them are Rasta now. Them greedy. And them not in this for the message. Them not in this for Rasta for right. None at all. Them in this for them own selfish greed. That is why you can't just come out and make a liberty talk for them. You don't have to bow to the system. That is why you don't have to choose some sort of duality between Rasta and the bum buckler corporate world. I watch them, I don't want them to get confused now. See? I want them to understand the Rasta them with fame. Who seems to be the face of Rastafari. And things say, as soon as one of them make a move, a contradictory to Rastafari beliefs. See, everybody, oh, Rasta bow. No, the person is weak to the system. No one person represents Rastafari. Only if a youth when I have no popularity and no fame. A whole of Rastafari were firm up on the ground than enough of them popular Rasta. Yeah. Separate Rastafari from the fame. That is why a lot of them confused. See? Because a man with popular bad and him in the driver's seat, as soon as he make a wrong move, it noticeable. Because him popular. Then that scenario helps to chip at the image of Rastafari because most people boil down Rastafari to popularity. So let me ask you something brother. When Coffee for example do this song with him, Ragamuffin, among other songs, and she come out looking exactly like what Rastafari looks like. And she all call up Selassie name because you have people where the criteria for Rasta is you not see yourself you not defend his majesty. Coffee them defend his majesty in a whole heap of songs. Check it. Lila Aiki them. His majesty. In a whole heap of song. But them lifestyle contradict where His Majesty and Rastafari are deal with and a whole. Hmm? So no mock them and mock Rastafari when them do that. But we never hear a sound. We never say a tweet. We never say a text. We never say a statement put out when any one of these artists who belong to the camp gets called out. 
to where it's obvious, said them are with it. Make we stop playing hypocrite. Coffee lifestyle, sure. That obvious. And that are none of my business. Coffee can be whatever she wants to be. But if her lifestyle, Leela Ike lifestyle, contradict Rastafari, how come whenever you're a peep? A sound, not even a decibel from nobody in the reggae revival. I'll tell you why. Look at the reggae revival. Nobody in that Narasalo. I mean, I said that for disrespect, no man. As I've met my disclaimer. Rastafari and a joke thing, just like where you come now. I mean, like it, you know. The fact that you go so boom now, you try to carry a man and show him the right part, you know. Me actually like it, bro. But when you do that towards one man, you have to do that towards everybody else because righteousness don't have compromise. Is he there righteous or you're not? If a man, when a Rasta come out and mock Rasta, nobody not take him serious. But when Rasta mock Rasta, I test the problem there. That is where the people themselves can open them eyes and say who real and who fake. 